And this is where we left in the last video. We have built this entire functions. You can see all these codes we have written. So I believe that you guys are on the same stage where I am right now. And in this video, we're going to learn about cookies, that how you can send cookie into the user browser and you can use that cookies. So here we are. So here we are in this create send token. In this place, we are creating the cookie, a token. And this is the best place to create the cookie. So here we are building the token and we'll come here. We'll call this request dot. We'll call this cookie. And in this cookie, we have to pass a couple of parameters. So the very first thing is the JWP token, the token we are generating because that is the unique identifier for the user when at the time of login or creating the account. So we'll send the token. And along with that, we're going to send an object. And that object, we're going to define this expiry. So when this token will expire. So that's the expiry we have to define. And the expiry define, let's define in the .env file because expiry date here. So WWP cookie expire, it will expire in 90 days without D because we have to convert this days into a millisecond. So it's without D. So let's come here and let's type the expiry. I think I deleted that and we're going to take this new date and that we're going to call this date dot. Now it will give us the current time. We'll use this plus and in that we're going to call this process.env jw cookie expire in and we'll take this multiply with 24 60 and we'll have this thousand so it will give the date in the millisecond look fine let's come here here we have to define a couple of properties so when we'll send this cookie in that cookie we want to send a secure or a unsecure so sometime you have visit any application they have this protocol https or http okay so I want to secure it. I want that the user can only use it on the secure section. So let's make it true. If you want to use it on a secure section, make it true. Or if you don't want it, just leave it as a false. And here we have to define HTTP only. It's true. But right now we are in the development mode. So we cannot able to test this cookie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply come here. I'll create a cookie option. And we're going to make it dynamic. So in that, we're going to define this all, copy that and paste. And I'm going to comment this one because we are in development and it will work only for the HTTPS and we don't have that HTTPS in our local host. So let's comment this one. And here we're going to take this cookie and we're going to pass it here in our cookie. And here we're going to write an if statement. So if process.in means if we are in a production. So right now you can see we are in the development here. So if we are in production, so dot node.env production then only we want to add this field so cookie dot secure equal to true only in production not in the development and this will work fine this looks fine to me save it and hope you guys have got the idea looking fine come back here and try to make a request okay it's went through but we haven't got our cookie back so let's come here if I simply close all of the existing tab, there are too many tabs and it's getting confused. So this is the login section. This is the dollar. This is the email. Let's say, hey, buddy, let's create a new account. And here I'm going to set the role to guide because we haven't created any role as a guide. So this is a guide. Let's create a new user. Looks fine. And we don't have a cookie, but we are getting this data. So some things wrong with the code. We are getting all of the data, but there is no cookie in here. And I know why it's happening here because of will we have built this logic. So just comment this out because right now I'm in the development. So just comment this out, save it and let's create one more account. We'll say, buddy, hit a request. And this time we have it. You can see if you click on the cookie here, we have the data. We have our JWP, JWT token. We have the domain. We have the path. We have the expiry date. And we have the HTTP only to true and the secure is false. So this is how we have sent in the cookie. And if you click on that here, you will find the cookie as well. So you can click here. You can click here in this and you can able to see the cookie right down here. Looks fine. This is the password and I don't want to display this password when the user is creating his account. So I just want to hide it because that looks weird. Okay. If you want to keep it just like that, you can, but I don't like it to go in this way. So we can do it very easily. So here we are sending the response. So we'll say user 
dot password and we're going to set to undefined so this will not display the password so looks good save it and here we have to do nothing so let's come here and we have to create a new account and we can simply send the request so this time we don't have the password make a request and we don't have the password so this is how you can hide, hide any field if you want to remove that active field which is coming you can hide that as well if you click on the cookie the cookie we got it right up here it's looking fine if you click on that here you will find the cookie okay hope this makes sense so this is how the cookie work in the applications and that's the only thing i want to cover in this video hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you and if you still have any confusion re-watch the video and do leave in the comment section that what is the problem i'll try to look after that with that let's move to the next video